everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Run and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, we're at that point now to where the seasons are, are changing. We're officially into fall, but that has a lot to do with curb appeal because a lot of the leaves are going to be falling and things like that. So what advice can you give to people? It is. It's one of those times of year, you know, fall, the beginning of fall is gorgeous. You've got all the mm -hmm. change of leaves, but then after everything starts dying off, it can get a little ugly outside. And it also can get to be where you really need to clean up your property for the sake of your property as well. So keeping your gutters cleaned out, oh, yeah. making sure that you keep you know, the leaves back from your house. You don't want anything to be a fire hazard or anything like that. So it's just a really good time to go out, kind of do that fall sprucing up and make sure everything looks great for curb appeal. Especially if you have a house listed. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about five uh, properties. I won't say all homes, because we've got a, com a couple commercial properties mm -hmm. in today's show. Uh, but let's start with a residential property. Now this is a, far, a little farther north than what we normally do. This one's in Louisa. It is. This one is in the Louisa area, like you said, and it's actually right on the Kentucky-West Virginia border. So if you're looking for something in that area, it's also very accessible from the Pike County side if you're going from the South Williamson mm -hmm. over towards that way. This is also a great way to access that property. Right, and this one is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home that's sitting on 10 acres of property. So space is not gonna be an issue. Exactly, this one sits kind of at the end of Sourwood Drive. So that 10 acres allows you to have the privacy of kind of being out there mm -hmm. by yourself on the end of the road. It has a lock gate. Um, that is right there at the entrance, so that even more allows even more privacy. And then with that acreage, you're looking at all that extra space, which allows you to have a barn, mm -hmm. garden space. I haven't been to the property, but I've been told that there's plenty of land if you wanted to do any kind of pasture land or anything like that. You know how this area is. This area tends to be a whole lot flatter than yes. what we have up in Pike County. So I'm sure you've got a lot of usable acreage. Now you mentioned great for a barn and garden space, but that's included. There yes. is there is a barn standing on this property and then the, the established garden space. So uh, that is something if you're the outdoorsy type of person, if you have horses or you want to get into that kind of thing, this one's going to come already ready. Absolutely. And then inside the house, it is almost 2,400 square feet. It's a story and a half, kind of a Cape Cod style. Mm -hmm. And it comes with three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And then you can see in the pictures, they did all kinds of that wood detailing. So if you like kind of that farmhouse feel, this is going to be a great match for you. This one's going to be a great listing. Now, this one is actually Christy Nichols' listing. It is. And I'm going to give her cell phone number at 606 624 Six seven two two, and the price on this one uh, not bad two hundred twenty thousand. So uh, this is one you can contact Christy or call the Pikeville office, and you'll be able to schedule a showing for that one. Now moving on to the next couple of ones, let's do some commercial properties. Uh, this first one is in Floyd County. It is. This is in Martin, and anybody that's familiar with the Martin area knows where the triangle is. Mm -hmm. You've got a, that triangle in the road. You've got businesses right there. This is one of those businesses. It used to be a dental office, so it already has that set up to it. Dental, medical, anything along those lines, this is going to be a great building for you. You've got your exam rooms. You've got your waiting room. Um, you've got all the different aspects that you would have to figure out how to set up for this office already ready. Already ready and already ready in a known commercial area. So you sit right there close to a bunch of the banks and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff in that triangle really close to where McDonald's is right off of Route 80. So it's in a great area to establish a business that's already um, in an established area. Right, and it's, it's almost 2,500 square feet. So it's, it's a good size as far as that. Looking at the picture of the front, you can see it's got adequate room for parking mm -hmm. um, and things like that. And those are things you need to think about when you're looking at a commercial piece of property. Absolutely, and then the other thing to take in to account is the current owner has gone in and spent some money and done some updates. So you have a newer roof, newer mm -hmm. hot water heater, new heating and air units, flooring, new drop ceiling. So hopefully this is one you can go in, kind of put your personal stamp on it, but it's already ready for business. Okay, the price on this one, 229000 
Uh, now, Jennifer, this is one that you're handling, right? And actually, this is one out of our Pikeville office that Beverly Newman is handling, who's one of our new agents. Okay. So let's give um, some information so we can get a hold of Beverly. Let's give her email address. Okay. Her email is bnewman at rbnw.com. All right. Now, moving along, we'll stay um, on the commercial side of things, but we'll move actually into Pike County with this one. This one's at Coal Run. It is. This is a bank, old bank building at Coal Run. That's kind of how everybody's going to know it. But it sits right on 23, has adequate square footage to mm -hmm. be another bank or about any business that you would want to put in. I know you're looking at over th or right at 3,600 square feet. Um, but this one, like you said, is set up for a bank. Mm -hmm. So you've got your drive through lines, you've mm -hmm. got the window, uh, you've got your front lobby, but like you said, there are a lot of different businesses that could utilize a drive through space or enclose that. I think we talked about that once before. We did. Where you've already got the roof line for mm -hmm. that drive through space, you have the ability to almost double the size of the building if you would want to enclose that portion as well. So that's something, obviously that would come at a fairly large cost, but it's something that if you're looking for something that's closer to the six, 7,000 square feet, that would be an option. It's been recently a bank, five private offices, a boardroom, two half baths, four teller stalls, and then a large kitchen and storage space. So this is one that you could easily go in, you could make a few adjustments if you wanted to open up a bank, or like we said, if you wanted to do another type of business, you pretty much have an open floor plan with those offices being around the um, perimeter wall, so you could easily change it around or do whatever you'd need to. We're forgetting to mention, this is in Coal Run, mm -hmm. right on US 23. As far as location goes, it doesn't get much better as far as traffic and, and the people that are going to be exposed to your property. Exactly. This is in a very high traffic area for Pike County. So this is something if you're looking to have that drive-by traffic, if you're mm -hmm. looking to have that sign directly on US 23, this is a great option. This is one, um, I, like we said, if you're looking at you know banking or anything mm -hmm. that would, would use those drive-through stalls or anything, kind of put your mind around that. The list, this one is listed for 875000 So this one is another one out of your Pikeville office. It is. This one is actually mine. And my uh, Pikeville office number is 606-437-2333. All right. Just give Jennifer a call. She'll be able to, to get you down there and, and walk you through that property. Now moving on this one, we've got one of the next two, the last two we're going to talk about, just went through some big price reductions. So that's going to be attractive. They did and both of the sellers are motivated to hopefully get some offers. So these are ones that we wanted to mention, throw out. If you have an interest in either of these next two properties, they're ones to really take into account right now. The first one we'll talk about is not far from the bank building we just talked about at Coal Run. This one is on Joe Stanley Road. Now this is one half of a duplex. Correct. It is one half of a duplex. Like you said, it sits just down from that last listing. So you're up on the hill right there in Coal Run, directly off US 23. And this is one the current owners have gone in and done some amazing updates to it. It is completely moving ready. If you're looking to downsize, mm -hmm. if you're looking for something that's very low maintenance, this is a great property. And that would be for, let's say, you know, the kids are now in college. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a time of year when it's starting to sink in that, wow, we're empty nesters, you know, we can downsize now. Or if you travel a lot, uh, this is one, like you said, low maintenance is the key for this one. Exactly. It's a two bedroom, one and a half bath. In that one and a half bathroom, they have completely new bathrooms, new mm -hmm. vanities, new fixtures, everything is brand new. They went into the kitchen, did custom kitchen cabinets, they put in quartz countertops, uh, stainless steel appliances, and then throughout the house it's new lighting, new doors, new uh, windows, everything has been changed out. And then you've got on the outside a private back deck, you can put a grill, you can do some outdoor dining areas, maybe even a hot tub mm -hmm. at some point. Um, so this one is going to be attractive to a lot of people who are looking for maybe a smaller place, but all the new updates. Yes, and that's what this one offers. And like we said, very low maintenance. Yes, you have that back deck, but you have a very small amount of grass to mow. It's probably one of those that you mm -hmm. can go out with your little push mower that's not even uh, gas powered and get it done real quick. This is something that you can go out, you have enough to do to play outside and kind of sit outside, but you're going to have very low maintenance 
you know, for those weekends. And the price on this one at 124.9, this may be something for an investment property. If mm -hmm. maybe you have rentals or, or you have uh, properties that you lease or rent out, this could be something that you could purchase to do that for, for extra income in the long run. Absolutely. This would make a great rental property. If somebody is looking for um, additional income, this would be one that would be great to get into. And as we mentioned at the very beginning of this listing, this has been reduced. Uh, it is now 124.9. So uh, the price is going to be attractive whether you're going to buy it to live there yourself or maybe you're looking at using it for some rental property. So uh, let's give your email address on this one. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right. Now we'll end the show with another piece of property that the price has just been reduced on. Now this one is actually in downtown Pikeville. It is. This one is directly off Myra Barnes, which runs parallel to Hambly Boulevard. Mm -hmm. um, over in that residential area as you're coming into town. And this is one, like I said, super convenient because of the mm -hmm. location, but it's another very low maintenance home. Right. Now this one is a ranch home that kind of, like you said, everything is kind of when you go into the house, as you go mm -hmm. deeper into the house, it just keeps unfolding with exactly. different rooms. Exactly. It has uh, four bedrooms, two full baths. The layout is uh, great for a growing family because you've got three bedrooms up front. One of the master bedrooms is in the back. So it's a very easy layout for families as well. And I love the, the updates and the extras that this one has. You've got the hardwood flooring, you've got a sunroom, uh, you've got a bar space if you like to entertain. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, you've got your family room, your master bedroom, um, and all of these things are in a layout that's great for entertaining. Exactly. And then one of the great things, sometimes in the city, it doesn't come with off-street parking. This one actually mm -hmm. has a lot of off-street parking. You can fit about two to three cars. Um, and then you, of course, have the street parking for additional, but it's great to have that as well. And you said this one runs parallel to Hambly Boulevard. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming in from uh, like the Cedar Creek side uh, onto Hambly Boulevard, this is that area where you always see walker people mm -hmm. walking or running or riding their bicycles, pushing their strollers. So this is a very family-friendly area, great for those who like to get out and run and walk and things like that. You know, you don't have to drive to park your car to go running. You run out of your front door. Exactly. And if you're a big Hillbilly Days fan, this would be a great location to walk in for Hillbilly Days or anything like that as well. But like you said, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, almost 2,400 square feet. Mm -hmm. So you've got a lot of space with this one. You do. You have a lot of space. You have a lot of space on the outside, but like I said, very low maintenance, small little garden area, a really nice covered front porch. So this is one that has both of them. I uh, love the front porch. You've got mm -hmm. that outdoor space too as well. So uh, this is one that, as we mentioned, the price has just been reduced as well. This one is now 214 uh, but like we said, you're getting all that in downtown Pikeville right off Hambly Boulevard. So I think this one's going to be attractive as well. I hope so, and if anybody would want to see it, please give us a call in the Pikeville office, 606-437-2333. And of course, there's a Red Runner Williams uh, sign in the front yard. Mm -hmm. Feel free to do that, that drive-by. Absolutely. All right, now we've talked about a lot of things that are listed, but now we're going to tell you, or Jennifer's going to tell you, why it is important to hire a realtor, whether you're buying or you're selling. Why use a realtor? Using a realtor to buy or sell real estate has many benefits. First, your realtor is familiar with the market, familiar with competitive and comparable properties, and can help you either price your property effectively for a sale or make a competitive offer on a house that you hope to purchase. Second, your realtor can help you navigate the home buying or selling process from start to closing. The home buying and selling process can be stressful and time consuming, and using a professional will help you get through each hurdle more efficiently. The Realtors of Ray Brown and Williams Real Estate Services will be honored to assist you through the buying or selling process. Please give one of our four offices a call to speak to one of our agents. Thank you for joining us for the Ray Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. We hope to see you again soon.